Good morning, guys. Please excuse how I look. First of all, I was rubbing my face and it's a little itchy right here, so excuse that. I went and got dinner and drinks with my friend Casey last night and I made the mistake of sleeping with my makeup on. So my skin hates me, my eyes hate me. I woke up and my one eye was so itchy from sleeping with my makeup on. So I don't look my best right now. I'm of course going to get myself ready in a little bit and pull myself together. So you're not gonna have to look at this very long. But while the boys are down for their first nap, I wanted to start today's vlog. Today we have the boys one year checkup. Their appointment is at 3.30 and my grandma is going to come along with me. She's gonna come here when she gets off of work at like 2.30. And we will head over to the boys doctor's appointment so i thought i would do a little day in the life today i know i usually vlog the boys appointments and then also include their update but because this is the boys one year update i feel like it's going to be a bit of a longer video so i think i'm going to split this into two videos of course we're going to see how it goes if i don't get too much footage today and then i'll include it in this but i feel like it'll be a bit long if i do so i think i'm going to just do two separate videos and I really want to try and film their one year update with them physically in the video so it's not just like me talking about them so I need to figure out a way to set up my tripod and everything so that they don't touch it so we'll see I'm going to probably film that tomorrow but today I thought I would do a little day in the life take you guys along for the day and of course for the boys doctor's appointment I'm pretty nervous for this appointment because they do need to get blood taken and I just like don't foresee how they're going to be able to do that so we will see but like i mentioned the boys are down for their first nap they're going to be getting up any minute now i just got off of a therapy session with my therapist if you guys saw my last video my postpartum video i talked about how i was going to therapy to deal with some anxiety and stuff like that so i just got off of that appointment and i always feel so good when i do get off of the appointment it's kind of like a weight has been lifted off my chest i was able to talk about a lot of things that were giving me anxiety this past week and she did give me homework to do this week so I'm excited i'm hopeful but because i had that i didn't have a chance to get myself ready so i don't think i'm going to get myself ready for a little bit probably once the boys are up i'll take them in here to play and i'll get myself ready but for now i'm going to get my last five minutes of alone time in before the boys wake up hello benny hi bubbers Oh, I have some laundry to fold today, too. Hi, should we turn the light on so you can say hi to everybody? Hi. Whoa, you want to get out already? He's like, get me out, get me out. Hi, Jackie boy. We did successfully transition them to three bottles a day, so they're not going to get a bottle right now. I need to get them up and get them dressed for the day, and then we'll either go in the playroom, my room, downstairs. We'll see what they want to do, but for now, let's get dressed. Hi. Got a cut on your nose. Silly. Somebody stole all the clothes I hung up here. What happened, Benny? I think I'm going to match the boys today. I don't match them all the time, but I do like matching them when I go out to confuse people. That's like my favorite thing to do is to match them when I'm seeing people to try and trick them and see if they can guess who is who. So Jackie boy is going to get dressed first. You want to show everybody your outfits? We got tops from Nunu, pants from Mouse Baby, socks off of an Instagram shop. Jackie's wearing pink. Benny has purple and orange on. And now we're gonna play until lunch in about a half hour. Go, go, 
get him. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Let me see. Let me see. <gasps> Whoa! Do it again. What? Wow! One more time. Hey. One more time. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Good job, Babs. Okay, lunch is now served. The boys are having some PB and J bites, a few little Gerber cheese puffs, and some strawberries. And then depending on if they're still hungry, I will probably give them a yogurt with that. And I'm heating myself up some leftover pizza from last night because I'm starving. Also, my house is a disaster. Do you ever just have those days where like you don't feel like cleaning a single dish? You can't be bothered to clean up after yourself. That's how I'm feeling right now, which I know I'm going to have to tackle this all before Harris gets home so that there's no evidence of it. But for now, most of this is going to stay this way. I lied. I did wind up straightening up the counters. It really wasn't that bad. I have my pizza out now, but everything in the sink, which it's really not that much, and then that pan can wait. I'm going to do some chores while the boys take their second nap. I also need to empty the dishwasher later and fold that laundry, like I said. But for now, this pizza is calling my name. Okay, so the boys are now down for their second nap. So I'm going to quickly get myself together. I'm going to like fix my hair, wash my face, get myself dressed, all that kind of stuff. And then while they nap, I'm gonna head downstairs and do those few chores that I have to get done. And then probably eat something. And then my grandma should be here around like 2.30 and we'll head out the door probably around like 3.15. Okay, I know I don't look that much different, but I'm done getting ready now. I feel a lot better having like my face washed and all that kind of stuff. And before I head downstairs to do those chores I wanted to do, I wanted to show you guys my stomach. I talked about how I was using a pumice stone on my stretch marks in my last video as well, my postpartum video. And I did a process yesterday. I'll insert a photo here of what they look like fresh after the process. My stretch marks were so red and swollen, but this is what they are looking like just one day after that process and that was my third process and i feel i mean i don't know maybe it's just me but i feel like they look like they're improving and so even though this was only my third time i'm excited to see what happens the next few times that i do it and i really honestly think that i want to do a video on this for you guys because this is like the first time I'm doing something for them and I'm actually seeing so much progress. So whether it be like a vlog or a standalone video, I think I want to do a video on the pumice stone. So let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. But I'm going to go downstairs now and do some chores, eat something, all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm sorry, you're like a specialist for what? What specialist? Thank you. Got a cookie? Mm -hmm. Mm, the big good boys. Hmm. Cookie. We're now home from the doctors. I gave the boys a little snack, some cinnamon applesauce. They did really well for getting their blood taken, which I thought that they were going to take it. I don't know why I thought this. Thought that they were going to take it like intravenously from their arm. But all they did, I don't even think you can even see it anymore, a finger prick. And then they got two shots and now they're acting like it never happened. So now it's time to make some dinner for me and Harris and them. Okay, so it's dark out. I'm in my car, as you can tell. The boys are in bed. It is such a process taking them out, especially to the doctors where they had to get shots and blood taken and everything. 
that I just was so tired when I got back from their doctor's appointment that I really didn't have any will to make any dinner. So I made dinner for the boys and we fed them and we got them into bed and everything, but I didn't make dinner for Harris and I. And so I'm going to go to Wendy's and get myself food. He's gonna order something with a friend who's over now, but I'm gonna go get myself some Wendy's and eat that, which is not the healthiest, but today's basically been a cheat day already since I had pizza for early lunch, so. Let's go to Wendy's and let's pick up some food and then when I get back I'm going to get into bed and I think I'm going to work on writing some notes and bullet points for the boys a one year update. Alright, food secured. I am in bed. I'm going to eat my food and like I said write down some notes and things for the boys a one year update. I do think I'm going to make it two separate videos just because this video I think is like over 10 minutes already so I'm just going to make it two separate videos. So I will link that up here once it is live. Stay tuned for it. Make sure you're subscribed and have my post notifications on if you guys are interested in seeing and hearing about the boys one year update. Yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.